And guys, this game is different from ISEPS in the way that over time your income will grow automatically because higher tier production things produce lower tier production things, that's pretty cool. You will have a lot of different upgrade mechanics that kinda can next to each other and makes multipliers higher. So as, as all incremental games, this one will blow up your numbers pretty high. The progression here is way slower than ISEPS in my opinion and moreover you will have a lot, a lot, a lot of ads here. So if you are going to buy no ads pack for 5 USD, you're good. If you don't want that, you will have to watch a lot of ads and they are really not that rewarding. So um, I wouldn't recommend this game for the people who don't want to buy it because you can try it, you can see how it is and then buy it. Otherwise, you will regret it long run. You will have to watch a lot of ads and the progression will be slow, so you will get bored out of it. Now, let's go into the game. Sup guys, it's Ten Kosh and today we're taking a look at the new game from the developers of... Uh, Iceps Sci-Fi sells Idol Factory Incremental. So we'll take a look at this game. It have a lot of same mechanics, but it's a little bit different as well. Let's continue. Hello, we have restarted. That's a new... Uh, the game have reset all the saves. So we will start from the scratch. Uh, construct the cradle. We're getting the base ship. Nice. Uh, you can see our sh spaceship had now grown. All right, let's go inside. And here we get the basic game mechanic. So basically every tick that lasts for 8 seconds at the base time, we will get some cells. We can upgrade the generator. Go away tutorial, I know how to play the game. And it will increase the amount of cells we will get. Um, the more generators we get, the more of those ticks we will get. Also this one have sound, which is pretty cool. Uh, Isops didn't have sound. So there we go. You upgrade those and as you go, you will have more and more upgrades available. So. Uh, let's get some more of those and at some point we will be able to unlock the new things. While we are getting the base resources, we are reaching some levels here and we got the player menu here. In the player menu we do some upgrades, so for example we get this upgrade here that gives us 5% extra sales income and uh, there are achievements that we can get and claim some tokens here and there, so a lot of Look at all those stats, guys. Do you like it? Do you like the stats? Are you a stat junkie just like me? Look at all that. Oh my god, that's so good. So, we have a lot of stuff here and uh, we're gonna check the screen from time to time. By doing different uh, achievements here, we will get different rewards, different things for rewards. And those will help us in our progression. Let's do it like that. That will be better sound. Uh, moreover, as we got the next level, we got the fleet available. Now... The fleet is new, I haven't seen it, it's uh, in the recent update, the, the game is just out, it's 0 0.2 version, so by the time you will watch this video it might change, but right now it's the same. Uh, next rank progress, purchase generator, so to upgrade ship, we gotta purchase the generators, and here we got the, oh my god, look at this, enchantments, do we have those resources? Print new cradle crew. 87 cells, not yet, let's get more generators first. So now we're getting uh, 22 cells per tick, so that's nice. And I think we can afford the upgrades over here, can we? This cost crew, ah, okay. So we print the new crew and we got two crew not right now. Now every level in this upgrade provides a 10% increase to cells gained for each uh, crew member on the ship. Let's install this upgrade, bam. There we go. So, uh, this is a progression mechanics in the fleet right here. That's actually pretty cool. In order to get additional talents that are around our main one, we gotta get some more upgrades in the main one. So, like, 40 levels, 5 levels, 25. Depends. And those are all different. Output for each crew member. So, we gotta get the crew and the fleet ready. That's nice. But uh, how do we progress? Purchase generators. That will increase our rank. And we'll also do that. When certain requirements are met, you can evolve your ship. This will grant you a massive bonus. Alright. You will need to max your ship crew and acquire a bunch of cells to do this. And it won't happen anytime soon. Alright. Thank you very much for telling me that it won't happen anytime soon. And we don't even know how many cells do we need. But after that, it will give bonus to the first three generators uh, times five. So it will be useful. For now... What do we do? You guessed it right. We get even more cells and I think... There we go. That's so much better. I would want to get the boost. So we'll watch some ads in order to get those boosts going and we'll get more stuff. So it will be faster for us. Alright guys. The boost actually each time you click the button you will watch the 
30 second ad, it will give you 10% boost, the higher the, the more. And the thing is, it will last only 10 minutes, so you will have to watch 6 ads an hour to make it right. And it's crazy. I, I don't like this, guys. That's a lot of ads for small boost. That's crazy, doesn't worth it. So, uh, where can we get the purchases? I want to see if we can buy the no ads pack and see how much it is. Because that's pretty crazy. We can get the next ship. Auxesia. Uh, tech upgrades menu. Boost the power of all your generators. It costs 50,000. Then there is a 5 million. There is 4 O and like more and more and more and more and more ships available. But not yet. So uh, the ships are expensive but not that expensive. Like that one. Uh, 50k one is available like in maybe a few hours of gameplay. Alright. So. What else do we get? Um, starter pack. This pack remove all ads. You can still open chest and use the boosts. It costs 14 gel, which is like about five dollars. So for five USD, you can enjoy the game more because with those ads, I will totally ignore all the ad offers because it's it's way too many and the rewards are very very low. Um, yeah, so if you like it, you buy it, I guess. For now, we will leave it just like that. All right, I want to buy a few more uh, crew for the for the ship. We bought one already, we got four right now, and we will upgrade this bonus, so it will give us way higher multiplier for our uh, sell gain. So now we have 45 generators, and they give us 100 per tick, so each generator produces about two cells right now, so that's a good step forward, and that will allow us to increase our gain even more, so let's keep clicking this and see what we can get all right there is also a player menu screen and here you can see the progression like how much cell how many cells do you need for the next level when you get the level you can get a cell multiplier here that you can buy and uh when you get 10 levels 10 10 upgrades you will get two times effect so that will be even more efficient i like those multipliers guys that's a lot like we've seen it in the isops that the multipliers stack together really well in those kind of games and i really enjoy it but the fact that you want to watch so many ads here is, is really, really weird. Uh, we have another rank point, so let's multiply our gains even more. And there we go. Now we are getting... What's that? Manual generator goal reach. Nice. Now we are getting about three times the cell. And we got the level up, so let's go spend our points here. Bam, another gain for us. Another multiplier. Uh, and now 52 generators produce 151 uh cells per tick so that's a good gain we are already getting close to 1k per sec per, per eight seconds so that's nice we have unlocked the chests now that we can get and there is a daily limit but you know you need to watch another ad in order to open the chest so bam you got the ad loading uh there we go we got some diamonds we got some cells but guys watch an ad doesn't even boost the booster, so it's different type of ads, and they are not connected. So I think the top area be below the tick will be uh, like Hephaestus, loop mode, all that stuff will be uh, ad watching simulation here. That That's not nice, but we get what we get. Let's do some more upgrades here, so we'll get more cells per tick. We need that, and uh, yeah, let me get some passive stuff right now, and I'll be back to you when I'll get some upgrades done. Alright guys, and we saved up enough cells to buy Mark II Generator. The good thing about the Mark II Generator is that it actually produce Mark I Generators. So every tick we will get one free MK1 Generator because we have that stuff and that will start growing our income just like that. So you can see that right now we are getting 209 per tick. Bam, next tick will be 213 and it will keep growing. So now, spending your resources on MK1 generator without additional upgrades is useless because it's more efficient to get more MK2 generator that will automatically produce MK1 generators. And it goes like that. MK3 produce MK2 and so on and so on. I don't know about the other ones. Yeah, I think I think all of them produce the higher tier stuff. So, uh, that's actually good mechanics. I've seen it in some other incremental games. And uh, we want to see how implementation of this module, of this thing, will be here in this game, because it depends on other upgrades. 
I think they will be utilized properly and we will have a lot of multipliers before that in the earlier version of this game you got upgrade where you multiplied MKY1 gains based on the amount of manually purchased generators let's see if we have this here in this ship yeah every level in this upgrade provides 0.5% increase to the MKY generator output for each manually purchased MK2 generator for each crew member on the ship so we get some of those things here so getting the manual upgrades purchases sometimes is a good idea but usually when you get stuff going like that it's better to wait and get the higher tier moreover you don't need to purchase generators in order to upgrade your main ship so that will be another uh reason for you to do that so let's do some more progression and see what we will get we got access to the token shop let's take a look so here we can get additional upgrades for the tokens that you get clean all right that you get for uh, watching ads guys so um token gained from chess diamond boost same as iceps basically sales boost so that will sales from chess not what i want increase the output of mk1 generator by one percent per level or mk2 generator let's get mk2 progress because it will be better i think how many do we have we have a lot of tokens so let's get 10 percent here and 10 percent here that will help us in the long run uh, for now, I don't want to do any other upgrades bef because I don't feel like I'll be watching ads yet if I won't get a no ad pack, but those will help you out a lot. There is also diamond shop. Oh, we seen it. Spend diamonds here. There we go. So the diamonds we get here can be spent on boosting the generators again. Some percentages based on the generator and uh, there will be special upgrades. Where you get more tokens, more of that kind of stuff, and one timer upgrades it kind of make a good, gives you a good boost. We got to kind of diamond straight away, so let's spend them all on MK2 Gen and someone on this one, so that will give us some boost straight away. There we go. So uh, now we get even more stuff per tick, and we can upgrade this one. So bam, we will get two MK1 generators per tick now, and that will actually grow our income pretty, pretty fast. We can also go to the settings here and actually we can create account here, go to check out other games and visit the Discord. That will give us some free diamonds that we can use for the upgrades. Uh, we can also do the auto backup on, so let's do that so we won't lose our stuff saved to cloud. There we go, so that way our game will not be lost. Uh, we got 500 diamonds, so let's see what we can get on those. Yeah, I misclicked and watched ad instead. So, uh... For the one timer upgrade we don't have enough resources, this will be pretty good bonus I think, but yeah, look at that, that that's expensive. Increase total sales gain by 5% per level. This is good, let's get it. I mean, why not? 10% boost, not bad. Uh, let's get MK2 buff, we will get the better uh, guides for the diamond spending later, but right now I just want to spend whatever I have right here. So we have. 28k cells we can get another mk2 generator we're already getting uh 1.6k per click and as you can see we got 215 generators of mk1 we only bought 66 so that's actually pretty nice so i did some upgrades here and there and now we will wait we're getting 164k per tick and we will wait to get the next ship right now so we need 50k for that and I think that's the proper thing to do at this moment because we need to do way more upgrades everywhere in order to upgrade some ships. So yeah, let's wait, uh, collect those cells and see what we'll get with the new ship. So we saved enough money to get the new, uh, no, not here, to get the next ship. Um, tech upgrades will be available. Greatly boost the power of all your generators. 50,000, let's go, bam. We got Auxesia now, and in order to upgrade the ship, oh my god, we gotta spend a lot of money, my gosh. How do we upgrade the ship itself? Purchase tech upgrades. Upgrade over here. Tech upgrades. MK1, MK2, MK1 upgrades. Increase the output of the MK1 generator by 10% per level. That's just the flat bonus upgrade for this generator. What about this one? It's the same, but co more costly. Alright, let's get it more gains for us but yeah those upgrades are nice they are kind of multiplicative so uh each next level will give you higher bonus so it was 110 now it's 121 next one will be 133 so that's pretty cool and yeah basically in order to prestige you will need to collect 500 million 
money and then we'll construct diag the agris it will allow us to do the prestige reset so we can get the permanent upgrades later on but i think it will take a while to get to this thing not that fast although what i like about this game so far is the fact that you actually um grow over time without doing anything so as you don't do as you idle you will get your income multiplied by using different generators that will kind of produce higher and higher tier generators and you know the lower tier generators will still multiply and that's really nice uh the bad thing though uh, for the older ships for your the fuel ships where you need to purchase the generators you actually have to purchase them you can't just uh generate them with the different generators so it will take a, a while to upgrade this ship and that stuff uh, upgrades here are kind of expensive but over time they will pay out there we go that upgrade down here mk1 software upgrade i told about this one now it's available increase the output of mk1 generators by one percent for each manually purchased mk1 gen that will be really good that will give us 70 percent upgrades straight after purchasing it so let's get some more upgrades here and maybe that one is 100k 10% more that's good as well so let's collect all those upgrades but yeah guys we'll do it next time because right now it's already a pretty long video and uh i want to tell you what i think about this game after playing it for a little bit i played it more than that before in the earlier version this one is a bit slower um that's a fun game but only in one case if you purchase the no ad pack otherwise it will be the goddamn ad watching generator because you will definitely need to get those token chests for progression you will definitely need those diamonds for progression and the only way to get them consistently over the periods of time is to actually watch those ads and that kind of sucks so that will be essential for the gameplay and in order to progress you will need to buy that pack or watch ads all the time and it's not fun so up to you other than that i really like the mechanics of uh growing over time so the fact that the higher tier generators pro produce lower tier generators is a really interesting idea and you can leave the game running and after a few hours you will gain tremendous amount of resources upgrades are fun they're kind of connected to each other just like an iceps so uh it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun if you can handle the ads or get the game for like 5 USD, so it's up to you. Other than that, guys, let me know down below in the comments what do you think about this game and this video. While you're going there, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet for more idle incremental games content. You can also find more game reviews and uh, first impressions in the video description in the playlist. There is also a link tree with my Discord, my social media and other YouTube channels for mobile and PC games. So something is for there, for sure. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stan Kosh out. Have a good one. Bye.